Welcome back to this Guild Wars 1 Let's Play. You are Sambo, a Seraphis heals a lot, and joining us, as always, looking resplendent in their lovely purple outfit, the purple flowers in their hair, and purple cat ears, is the catty woman herself, Regina J. Lacerta. Good evening, young lady. Good evening, sir. How are you? Oh, do you know what? Tonight, you, look, this is very special for me. And by the way, welcome to everyone watching this show. This is a very special evening, and I'm glad you're with me because this is the very first episode I'm filming after my computer died and I've had to rebuild a new one from scratch. And I'm upset about that. And I might just cry Wait, a little building bit. Building a new one from scratch, though, how... how, how how much have you scratched the surface of your operating system? Ah, uh, now this is where you, you are going to be very proud of me. And in fact, I know that, there we go, Seraphis is very proud of me. Regina J. Lacerta, I present to you Guild Wars 1 on Sambo's machine in 64 sparkling bits on Windows 7. That's right, you heard me. I am now Windows 7 guy. So uh, I hope you are. Well, I'm, I'm suitably impressed. I'm suitably impressed. Yeah, I mean, look, it only took you, what, three years of nagging, and I finally got there. Yeah, it was something like that. Well, okay, but to be completely <laughs> honest, actually, it took a complete system failure, but anyhow, never mind about that. I basically had to rebuild my computer from scratch, Reggie, and I know that uh, you and your built-in technician know how painful that is. I had to replace the CPU, the motherboard, the sound card, the RAM, everything. It was just an absolute nightmare. Oh. Yep, and I lost everything in the process so setting up everything from scratch as well including this game including all the recording software and folks i'd just like to say that if this episode sounds a little bit weird if the sound volumes are off if the game is too loud if reggie's too quiet actually it could be a blessing in disguise it is uh, hey! it's just something that we're going to have to work through over the next few episodes as i finally make all of the final adjustments to my system here because reggie this is the first recording i've ever done on this new system i've got new software new hardware i'm really oh, a little wow. bit yes I'm, i feel honored oh, yeah well it is i know it is you so hopefully no one will be able to hear hear your voice track and it'll be a brilliant nah, episode nah. <laughs> but look honestly folks bear with us if it sounds a bit rubbish or the levels are all out of whack or the quality is not good look just give us a few episodes to get me settled into this new gear i'm not used to it and of course we've had look at that look at that she does a double take i've had three years plus on my old system so i knew it like the back of my hand and this one is all foreign to me so yeah it's going to take a few episodes but reggie that's enough of my complaining it's always good to see you and it's always great to be in Guild Wars 1. Now, I'm looking on my map and I see that... Hang on a minute. Hang on. Something doesn't mm. feel right, Reggie. We're in Bloodstone Fen and there's no swords through it. I thought we'd already recorded an episode in Bloodstone Fen. Oh, we had. We only got halfway through it. Oh, gosh, that's right. Oh, I forgot about that. And then my computer... Ah. Oh. So, hang on a minute. Hang on. Does that mm. mean we have to run it all... Yeah, we do, don't we? Yep. <sighs> all right, well, look, I'm sure you folk at home don't want to see us do that. So how about we take a break? Reggie and I, because we're so awesome, well, I am anyhow, and it's okay, I'll heal her. We'll run up to the point huh. where we got in the last yeah, episode. Yeah, right, I've added a healer as well. <laughs> oh, it's just like old times. And then we'll come back to you once we're there, so no problems. But do you know what? Before I do that, I do have a very special thank you that I would like to... It's kind of like a little shout-out, I guess, to a couple of very special people people who on the weekend discovered all my drama and knew that I was terribly upset about what had happened and all the money I've spent and all the time I've wasted and all my bad luck and everything and this lovely couple of folk decided to send me a gift Reggie in steam and it was just lovely you know I oh. love yeah well I love when people what? I know who, who on said earth would, you were present I know this is the thing right and you would never believe who it's from either but these two I mean they were just lovely they thought oh poor Sambo and they knew that I'd been wanting this particular game which which I'll announce in just a minute and hopefully we'll see some footage of in an upcoming show or two but they bought me this game just to make me feel better and to be able to play with them and I must say I'm very humbled and I'd like to say a big thank you to none other than Her Royal Highness Regina J. Lacerta and her <laughs> live-in technical support Meatball. Thank you Reggie. That was so kind of you. What on earth came over you? Ah, uh, moment of sheer madness. <laughs> 
There you go, folks. Just proving that she's not the cold-hearted witch that I make her out to be. That was just the most lovely gesture. And in fact, if you'd like to know what she got me, she got me Age of Empires, the HD remake version with multiplayer. And Reggie, you know you've basically signed yourself into a deal there where you're going to have to play it with me, right? Yeah. Uh, now, hang on. Have you, I'm sure you got yourself a copy. Have you managed to have a go on it yet? I have had a little bit of a go, and, and oh, the and nostalgia, it oh. flooded back over me like oh. a warm blanket. Oh, gosh, I was just going to ask that, because I remember that back in the day, I used to spend so much time. Look, let us know in the comments below, guys, did you used to play, or do you still play, Age of Empires, whether it's the original or the HD remake? Let us know, because maybe we can hook up some games. I'm really looking forward to that. So just thank you very much for your generosity there, Reggie, because it really made um, just a huge difference to my crappy week basically so uh, it was the best present ever anyway there look at that she agrees with me all right look enough of me babbling on let's get into this bloodstone fen mission uh we won't tell them how many times we die getting to where we left off but we'll get there there we go nine eight seven <laughs> six it's counting down we'll be right back once we're at our final resting point we'll see you soon guys and welcome back everyone here we are we've actually made it to where we left off in the Bloodstone Fen last time. Look at this, you can see our ant trail there. Now we made it this entire journey, Reggie. I don't think anyone's mm. actually going to believe us, but we made this entire journey without dying once. How? I, what? Well, they, they, they not only should believe you, but they can believe you because they can see that we don't have the death penalty. Oh, in fact, we've got plus 2%. If anything, which means we've been good little cherubs. So I, I don't know what happened. I look, I honestly can't explain it. I don't know what happened, but we didn't die once. It was very easy. Uh, look, do these maybe I don't know. Do these scale depending on how many people are in your party or something, or are they always the same difficulty? Um, I'm honestly not sure. Well, I don't know if in Guild Wars one there is scaling, but I do know I have heard of the Sambo Clause, and that is if, if you log into the game, the game instantly just gets dumbed down to a third of its normal difficulty. <laughs> you are a horrible woman. Uh, do you know what? I think all she did, look at that, even Seraphis is laughing at I think that you bought me Age of Empires HD just so that I had to be nice to you, even under fire. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, you know what? It's actually worth it. I will take that because I love Age of Empires so much. So I'm, I'm. That's okay. You can be mean as much as you like, as long as I can still play <laughs> uh, Age of Empires. All right. Well, look, here we are, folks. And you might remember that what we did was we got up to this last time, and you can see over there, Reggie, we've got some vine seed flowers. And I know that around the corner, there they go, over there, up where those jungle trolls are, we can see we've got some flashy foresty bits. I'm pretty sure that will build a bridge right across that big gap there, but we'll go and see. So can you remind us, Reggie, with these vine mm -hmm. seed flowers, what do we do? I mean, I can't remember how this all works. Well, we pick up a vine seed, there we go, and we do a very silly okay. run until we find a swirly green thing on the ground. I think I go this way. Well, hang on. Hey, hey, we've spawned some mobs. But, oh, it looks like the henchies are going to take care of them. Oh, dear. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, whatever. Oh, we don't care about that. Look at that. Go, <laughs> that's go, what, henchies. That's what mobs are for, um, henchmen are for, isn't that's it? That's true, actually. Yeah, oh, hang on. Mine I've got on. There we go. going to bring him back. I had mine stuck over there. Sorry about that. All right, so you reckon we go around the back oh, here, do we? Did. Yeah, I did. Because we want to build a bridge over there. I reckon... Because uh, yeah, there's sparkly stuff up the top here, Reggie. Do you reckon, I reckon we just go around here. I'll wait for you. Where are you? There you go. In fact, you can go first, just in case it's the wrong oh, wait, thing we've to both do. Got seed. I don't think we, we don't think we, I don't think we both need to have seeds. No, but I only thought, one of us needs to. But I thought I would empathise with you because you look like a dork. So I thought if I ran oh, like a dork, okay. oh, dropping, oh, yeah, I'm actually going to drop my item. And that's one good thing about Guild Wars. You can at least drop an item, which is great, so that we can actually get to some fighting here. Eek. Well, see, I can still use most of my spells. Why? Even, even though, though I've got, yeah, yeah, I can use spells, but I can't use my hand weapon. Oh, okay. While I'm carrying things. Well, that actually makes sense. I think. I'll heal hmm. the party. Here we go. Getting my world famous healing out. There we go. Uh, oh, gold coins. We'll take that. Okay, drop the item. No, pick up the item. That's it. All right. So, what do you do with the item once you get to a swirly thing like this? Oh. Oh, look at that! You just drop it on the ground and you run over the vines. Whoa, that is awesome. Now, hang on a minute. Haven't we already walked here? I'm going to have a look on the map. Yeah, we've already been yeah, through here. Yeah, we have. Here. 
So how does this work? I'm trying to figure out where we need to go by looking at the map. Hang on. What about over there? There's a big... Look, can you see over this way there's a great big tree trunk? I wonder if that is... Oh no, that's nothing. That's just scenery. I don't understand where we need to go because I'm looking at the map here, Reggie, and it looks like we've been everywhere except... Oh no, except maybe we do need to go over there. But there are okay, no sparkly well, things. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, let's have a look. This is very interesting. All right, so we're going to go back. Because, look, yeah. I don't, yeah, see on the map, this area, this whole Bloodstone Fen, the only place that we haven't been is sort of up to the north of this area and back to the right of where we were. But I don't know how to... Mm. Yeah, that's what I mean. So it looks like, you know, if you get onto that tree log down there somehow and mm. then you look on the map, you could see it would actually wind around to the top part of the Bloodstone Fen. Yeah, but, but it doesn't look like you can get onto that tree log. No, and there's no vines to build here or anything like that. And why would they send us all the way down here only to send us back over there? It's a mystery. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Ah, that's why there's two... V I've just seen something over off in the distance. There is another lot of spark... Okay, where have you gone? I'm not sure where you oh, are. Oh, I've just, I've just run off in completely the wrong direction. That's okay. Look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back up round where you just built the vine mm -hmm. bridge okay so i'm, mm -hmm. I'm going to run over there and i'll stop once i get to the other side that we'll pause filming folks and we'll wait for reggie to catch us up because i reckon i've got the solution here we'll be right back all right we're back so you guys know where we are there we go thanks to reggie we built that bridge over there and now, Reggie, do you know what I mean? Like, we passed this one here yeah, on the way did, up. Yeah, we did. We yeah, did. And we ignored it. Well, yeah, and also, I think we ignored it because we didn't have an extra vine seed. And I think that's why mm. we got sent back down over there, is to pick up two. One to build that shortcut bridge back, and then one for here. And, of course, that is going to bridge the gap over there and take us through north. In fact, I can see some mobs over there. There we go, Maguma Warriors. In fact, if we look at the map, look, it's going to take us up to the top. I think we've nutted this one out. So let's drop mm. this. Do I drop it on the ground? Yep. No, there we go. Oh, look at that. There we go. I can't believe this. We're actually smart. Oh, and there's a blue mob. The tree of life. There we go. Now, you're not allowed to say anything, Reggie. Ten internet points to anyone who can tell us in the comments what class is a blue boss. What is it? Is it a necromancer? Is it a warrior? Is it a mage? Is it a priest? What is it? Well, let us know in the comments below. Ten internet points for you. Tree of life, though. I'm going to guess, Reggie, that it's probably going to heal itself, right? Um, I think it may may have some sort of yes. Yeah, I think so. Properties. I'm going to give you a protective spirit ward. There we go. That's just going to oh, thank you. give you a little bit of health. There we are. And the Magumi Warrior. I'm going to take down these warriors here because they're being a right royal pain in the Jaxi. We'll throw a heal party yeah. out there. There we go. A centaur harness. Yes, we'll take that. Thank you very much. All right, so now on to the Tree of Life. And down it goes. The Tree there of we Life go. is dead. That's right, which is an irony, isn't it? Now, pretty sure we don't go around there, but I'll double check. No, okay. No, dead end. <laughs> All right, but I think we're on to something now. In fact, yeah, look at that on the map. We can see that this path is going to wind around. Okay, we're definitely on the right track, I think. Now, I don't remember, Reggie, and all the excitement. Oh, definitely on the right track, I think. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's about as good as You're it gets for me. Your bases, yeah, I definitely am covering my base. I, I actually can't remember what our objectives are in here. I can't remember, and all the excitement. Well, what how about you look at the quest log? Oh, is it in there? Is it? Oh, silly me. Here we go. Bloodstone Fen. Okay, so we have to locate Blade Scout Rider. He'll take us to the Bloodstone. Oh, so I think that's what we've still got to do. Because oh, we haven't come across him, have we? And there's certainly nobody... No, we haven't. Well, nobody's leading us by the hand. We're having to do all the hard work here and figure out what... Oh, there, look! Guess who's around the corner? Ah, there <laughs> we go. Let's go have a chat with him and see what he's got to say. Look, I'm supposed to take you to the Bloodstone. That's right, you are. But the mantle wiped out my entire party, and I'm not going back. What? You no, go on if you didn't. want, but you should That's know. A I know the stone disrupts divine energy. Those killed on top of it take much longer to resurrect oh oh dear that doesn't sound good reggie how let's have a look here you can see that's crossed out added travel on to the bloodstone on your own oh and this is all to seek the truth oh, about great. the white mantle ah oh, this is terrible i i mean i 
from what he said, I'm guessing, oh wow, that looks amazing out there. I'm guessing that if you die near the bloodstone itself, then you get some debuff, which means it takes ages to resurrect, and we don't want that. That's what I think anyway. No. Not at all. Oh boy, now I'm just keeping an eye on the time here. We're doing okay. I wonder how much longer we've got in this mission. We may run out I don't of time. Know. Let's see. We have to wait. The Guma warrior, come on, down you go. Oh, there's another vine over there. This could I've got a feeling this could be quite a big mission. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a chest. You don't happen to have any Maguma keys on you by chance, do you? I don't, but I do have a lockpick. And lockpicks can open you. Obviously they can. There we are. You yep. can't keep Reggie away from the shopping. There we go. <laughs> well done. Congratulations. Definitely. All right. Well, this is definitely an awesome looking instance. Oh, oh. So we've got another. Hang on. Oh. Uh, we need to seed. So there's no seeds. And I reckon over there is the bloodstone. Ah, oh, I could be wrong. I don't know. All right, so we need to find a seed. So we're going to go traveling. Keep an yep. eye out for a seed. Do you know what? I really like this because it's kind of like the whole mission is a little bit like a puzzle, isn't it? It is. It is quite puzzle-like, yeah. Yeah. Like it. Not, not like a Guild Wars 2 jumping puzzle where we end up you know, leaping into lava and stuff. No, not quite that bad. Oh, look at this behemoth here. He's very cool looking, although I'm having great difficulty. Oh, gosh, he's killing me. I'm going to move. There's a thing in the water down there, and it will not die. And it's hexed me as well, but anyway. <laughs> okay, I think I found... I think I found... No. Oh. Wow, it looks ah, amazing no. through I here. I found it. It's round this way. What is the The bloodstone or the, the, the vine? Seed thing. The no, seed. The seed thingy. Okay. The seed giving device. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, and there's a boss there as well. Gosh, this is a very, very involved mission, isn't it? It is. Oh, Lord. Very twisty turny. It is. But I like it. I like the fact that you have to use your brains just a little bit. We go heal other. We shall heal you. We'll give the whole party a bit of a heal. Oh, there we go. The vine seed. Now there's two there. I reckon if they ever offer up two, that we take both back. I just got this funny feeling. I we're think gonna... that's. Yeah, I think that's quite wise. Okay, I'll take the left hand one. You can grab the right. There we go. Yeah, saying that that's quite wise from you. Yeah, I'm amazed. Yeah, <laughs> shush you. Oh, it's the Ministry of Silly Walks. There we go, 10 internet points to anyone who can <laughs> tell me where that's from. And the Scarab. Oh, I'm going to drop it. You know what? I can't actually do anything without dropping my one. Oh, really? No, you're much more handy than I am. I am. Gold I coins. am indeed. But then we knew that. Well, that's true. Come on, Vine Seed. Hey, what happened to my... Hey, my Vine Seed died. Oh, no, there it is. Oh, that was lucky. What? No, it it started How moving. You, oh. I don't even know what happened, but it came back, so that's okay. That's all right. Let's have a look here on the map, and we're having to double back now. I reckon that that area with the funny-looking fountain in it is where the Fen, the Bloodstone is. That's what I think. I think you could be either onto something or barking completely up the wrong tree. <laughs> Probably a bit of both. Uh, there's another bridge yeah. thing over there. I don't know why we'd use that, but anyway... Well, you are barking, but just barking mad. Barking mad, she said. Here we go. Let's see if Reggie can... Oh, yes, it's taking us over there. Perfect. I've got a good feeling. Now, I reckon the bloodstone's in there somewhere, but I don't know. No. Sure. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just... It's pretty. It is pretty. I'm going to drop my item. There we go. I've got a spare vine seed. See it? Look, it grew. It grows into something, but hopefully it will come back and turn itself into a vine seed. Otherwise, we've lost it. And that ought to be right. There we go. Yeah, no, it's okay. Where's the bloodstone? I don't know. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to drop the item again while I'm stuck around here. Come on, let me out. There we go. Actually, Should you look, I carry it then? Well, you look like you're handling yourself okay. I'm just going to run on there ahead a little bit and see... Oh, there's another vine thing yep. here. Okay, go no. on, run ahead like a Sambo. Run ahead like a Sambo, yes, indeed. In fact, there's a dual chakra. I'm going to pick that up. Look, I know we're running out of time, folks, but uh, hopefully we're getting close. I've got a vine seed, so do you reckon we need to yep. bridge? Yeah, we need to bridge this gap, don't we? I reckon bridge the gap. All right, here we go. Drop the item. And yes, sure enough. Oh, who's this up? Oh, look, it's a white mantle. Oh, travel onto the bloodstone on your own. Looks like we're getting very, very close. Let's have a look at the map here. And now we're fighting white mantle, which is, of course, what we're here to discover the secrets all mm. about. So this is pretty good. Let's have a look at the log there. Travel onto the bloodstone on your own. Mm. 
hopefully it's just around the corner, Reggie, because we are so over time now. It's ridiculous. Blaming completely on you, though. Ooh. Of course, all my fault. I think we're going to have to fight our way through a bunch of white mantle. That's just what I think. Let's look at this map. Oh, look, I think we're going to have to go down into that area on the map. Oh, lordy, lordy. We might have quite a way to go. We'll see. Let's look on the map. How fast are we traveling? Oh, it might not be too far. Do you see where I mean on the map? There's like basically south of us right now. There's a whole open gray area. I reckon the bloodstone is going to be in there somewhere. In fact, here we go. Another yeah. white mantle seeker. Gosh, this has turned out to be a very long and complex mission. It has. Now, and did, yeah, without navigation. Where's GLaDOS and Nita? Yeah, GLaDOS, that's right. Reggie's in-car GLaDOS navigation system. Now, do you think that there's a bonus? I mean, there must be a bonus. There's a bonus in every mission, right? There is a bonus in every mission, but... We haven't seen knowing it Knowing you, you and me, yeah, we, we do have a habit of sort of walking right past, past the most obvious... But where could it be in this? I mean, it's already complex enough. And oh, oh, what the heck? Oh, you've got to be what? joking. How do we, oh, do we go around the corner? Phew. Oh, hang on, no, wait a minute. Oh, I thought there was a dead end. I was about to get very upset. And think, <laughs> no, we need another vine seed or something like that. But no, turns out I was just half blind. All right, so let's have a look on the map and see where we're going. We're winding our way in here. I've got a good feeling about this, that the bloodstone is going to be over there somewhere. Ooh, it's very cool in here, yeah. isn't it? It's great looking. It is. It's, it's sort of really cold. It, I feel cold. Yeah, I feel definitely. cold running around here. Yeah, it's neat, isn't it? I think it's deliberately mm. designed. Oh, oh, oh cutscene. Here we go, folks. I am the Scythe, the bringer of salvation. And I shall harvest the soul of the unbelievers for their stench will linger until the false gods have been cast from this world oh. <gasps> Oh my lord, avenge the Chosen by killing Justicar Havlion and his personal guards. He was vicious, didn't he just behead all of that them was, basically? That was pretty, pretty violent, yeah. yeah. Alright, well obviously that is the bloodstone up there, that big stone with the red spike sticking yeah. out of it, I'd say. Yeah. Alright, well, looks like we're on the final furlong now and we have to take I'd down say we are. all of these guys. Yep. Ooh. Oh, where are they running to? Oh, it's actually heavily on. Oh my lord. Okay, that was a mistake. I'm running away back from. Yikes. Okay. Hi, Reggie. Gonna get a few buffs up there. Woo! Yep. And in fact, I'm gonna put a nice little protective spirit on you. And let's see if we can yep. choose the white mantle knight. Let's get rid of the ads. It's gonna heal the party. Talk about an epic fight to finish off this mission. Get rid of the white mantle knight there. Oh, and he's been healed. Oh dear, I wonder if that's Hablion doing that. Oh, I ha well, Hablion's got a healing signet, which he's using on himself. Oh, and, okay. Oh, cycl cyclo oh, Cyclone Axe. Oh, and look at that. Yes. He's down, is he? He's down. We yeah, did it. he is. Woohoo! We do, we just need to get rid of his, um, his little minions, minions now. They should be easier to get rid of, though. You would think so. Gosh, I didn't think we'd take well, them hope. down so fast. You know what? I'm going to use Hablion's course to get some bone minions. Ah. <laughs> There we go, and look at that, there's the Regina Jay Lacerda's army of undead, that's right. She is using his own corpse now, basically against his followers, which is hilarious. Trust you to do something like that. We go the White Mantle wow. Abbot, and down he goes. Got a couple left there, White Mantle Seeker, 
taking a public. There's Reggie in the background, of course, arranged, being an archer. And the white mantle seeker goes down. We've got a white mantle knight, I believe. That's the last one. Here we go. Cutscene. And we have done it. We've earned 1,000 XP and one skill point. Yay! And look at that. Congratulations to us. We've got one sword through the shield, of course, because we did not do the bonus mission. Lord only knows what that is. Oh dear, that yeah. doesn't sound too good, does it, Reggie? I think we're in a bit of trouble. Oh my lord, and you know what? We are definitely in trouble because we are well over time. But we've ended up here in the Quarrel Falls, which I believe... Have we already been here, haven't we? I think we have, yes. We, we made it here on our own steam. That's right, instead of going through the Bloodstone Fen, which you can see we've unlocked on the map now. And, of course, the future challenge for us will be to put a second sword through that shield, figuring out what on earth would be the bonus but uh, there we go look at this it's a beautiful place that we found ourselves in here but we do need to get out of here reggie that was a whole bunch of fun she's changed outfits already i really enjoyed that mission i mean it was lengthy but it was full of puzzles great storyline typical hallmarks of a guild wars one mission these are great activities aren't they they are they are I and i mean them. you just come in have have a bit of fun yeah, and log out again. Accomplish something in under an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's exactly that. It's that, that sort of bite-sized chunk of fun, especially, you know, we're all busy these days. We're all working or, you know, looking after kids or whatever it is that we're doing. And uh, just to have, you know, half an hour or an hour to play and make it worthwhile, I think, is something that the Guild Wars 1 designers at ArenaNet had in mind. So there we go. Proof perfect. If we can do it, anybody can. But in the meantime, we need to get out of here until the next Guild Wars 1 episode a couple of weeks it's us saying take care i hope you guys are having a great week wherever you are in the world we do look forward to seeing you next time we will see you then and bye bye bye